today I am feeling inspired by the flow of the sea around us and I wanted to invite that into our practice. Take it easy, take it slow. Uh, this might be for somebody who's practiced a little bit more of yoga than right at the start of their journey. So let's get going and move over into child's pose. Allow the knees to be slightly wider than normal, just take the toes together. Stretch all the way down towards the feet. Take a breath in, just wriggle the fingers forwards, lengthen from the tailbone to the crown of the head and exhale, soften, relaxing your elbows and your shoulders. We're gonna find a shift of the weight from the knees, lifting the belly up towards the sky as the knees shift the weight into the hands. We're gonna ripple and unroll. And here we're gonna arch the back, lift the sit bones. And as we exhale, soften back into our child's pose. Breathing in, almost moving through cats as you really stretch the tops of the vertebrae up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, take a smile, breathe back and down. So as you do this, you want to think like there's a wave moving from the back of your mat, which is rolling you forwards. And you want to get as much articulation that's available through the different vertebrae. We want to create space and movement and fluid motion through the fascia that surrounds and encapsulates our muscles, veins and bodies. And there is also some liquid, some movement inside the bones. Even the densest bones have bone marrow, have some blood, have some liquid, which keeps us alive. So we're kind of warming up into the juices of that. We're gonna reverse the movement by grounding the elbows, spreading the hands, dropping the heart center through. And as you lift up, you open the heart. Chin comes towards the chest. You lift the heart center back. So it's almost like you're rounding through cat here and then soften and release back to the heels. It's going to be a little bit stronger on the body, building a little bit of heat. We want to still try and find that same fluidity. Find your rhythm of breath. Inhale or exhale for whatever feels right for you. One more of these. Nice. And this time we're going to ripple forwards and over. Bring the knees back into a little parallel, tuck the toes, spread the hands, lift the hips up to the sky. Take a little walk from side to side with your feet. You want to think about having maybe your index fingers pointing forwards, your hands spread a bit wider. Everything can be big and wide today. Really, as you move your feet from side to side, sway the hips. Like there's a wave pushing you from side to side, it feels really great. And then come down into a soft downward facing dog, maybe a bend in the knees, maybe they're straight, whatever feels right for the body. Shift the weight onto the left leg, inhale. We're gonna lengthen and reach the right foot back and away and immediately turn the right hip on top of the left hip and bend the knee. Inhaling, stretching. Exhaling, slowly stepping that foot forwards towards the front of your mat space. Exhale, release down through the left knee. Inhale, we're going to rise and exhale, just reach the arms forwards and down, just lengthen through the crown of the head, take the hands backwards like wings. Inhaling, rising. Open the heart centre and exhale, release. And this time we inhale, open all the way up to the sky. Exhale, we're going to bring the hands down to the inside of that right leg, lift up the left foot. Turn it towards the right, so you're coming towards the left side of your mat. You're going to slide yourself around. Turn the toes towards the left-hand side of your mat and just reach the fingers up and over. Breathe here, see how it feels. Maybe you can take a bit of an opening through the chest with a breath in as you take the upper arm backwards. And then exhale. We're just going to keep it moving, soften the hips back down towards that vent heel and rotate all the way back around, press back and down into downward facing dog. We're going to find a slow ripply chaturanga, so reach onto the tips of the toes, hug the elbows in, start softening the knees. It's going to feel quite strong in the body. Nice heart centre moves in towards the hands. You lift the chin and then chin to chest, 
Shoulders up towards the sky. Nice. Reach all the way back and down into your downward facing dog. Take an exhale. Inhaling, shifting the weight onto the right foot. We reach the leg up and away. Turn the hip out and bend the knee. You got this. Breathe again. Reach it high. Exhale. Let's step it through. Nice and softly. We create some space. Release the right knee down to the ground. Inhale. Offer yourself up. Really squeezing the left foot back. So the inner thighs are slightly engaged and got this sense of containment in the legs. Navel to spine, just breathe and inhale and exhale. And this time we open all the way up to the sky. Do what feels good and exhale. Ground the hands towards the inside of the left leg. Pick up the right foot, take it towards the left and slowly start swimming yourself around towards the right hand side of your mat. You want to soften that top foot, turn the left toes inwards towards the side of your mat and find this length from the outside edge of your left foot towards your left fingertips and breathe. Maybe on an inhale you want to stay there or maybe you want to open the upper arm back and just feel into this back body space. Feel that expansiveness and then slowly grounding it down. Like an animal, you can shift all the way back into your downward facing dog. I'm going to find that slow chaturanga. This time we're going to take a few ripples beforehand. So come onto the tips of the toes, ripple forwards into your plank. Exhale, press back and down. And just take a few of these movements. Nice. It's kind of like what we were doing in child's pose, but this time we're really opening into the legs, into the body. And just take whatever movements feel good here. Maybe it's a bit faster and smaller, or maybe you want to move and wriggle it around. Let's take this slow chaturanga again all together. So reaching onto the tips of the toes, hugging the elbows, hugging the knees. Slowly lower your heart center down, soften the tops of the feet. Inhale, we open, exhale, release. We're going to inhale, look over towards our left foot. Left shoulder, left foot. Oh. Release it all the way down, take it towards the right. And exhaling. And inhale, wave all the way into your cobra. Exhale, coming down into child's pose. As we inhale, let's slowly move up onto our toes. You can tuck the toes under, or you can have them flat onto the floor. We're going to take a little lift to keep the movement going. So it's like camel, but we're not going to go as far back as we normally do. Just a little press of the hands into the hips, an opening with the inhale, and then a softening and an exhaling with the exhale. Inhale, opening. Exhale, softening. Last time, inhale, opening. Feel into that heart space. Exhale, release. And just stretching forwards over into tabletop. We're going to come into a nice seated position, kneeling. Just to end our practice, bring your heart, hands up to your heart center. Wiggle down into your heels, close your eyes. And you're welcome to stay here for as long as you need to. Together we're going to take three breaths. So taking a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth. Another deep breath in. Exhaling out through the mouth. One last deep breath in. Exhaling. So coming into this seated space, just align your spine so it's not tucking under or reaching forwards, just bring it into center. Draw some golden threads from the tops of your ears up to the sky, feel the weight of your sit bones drawing down into the floor. Take a deep inhale together. 
And exhaling out through the mouth to release. And let's take two more of these towards our softness, towards our flow. Exhaling. And last inhale. a little pressure through the little finger and the thumb, make a chalice of your love, of your light. And so you allow it to rise up through you, up towards the sky. Once you really feel like you've offered it up, you can open that chalice, allow the cup to break and allow the magic to pour down all around you like sparkles, like a light. Let it flow through your whole being. Mm. Feel those tingles. Opening your eyes when you're ready. Sending love from me to you. Keep being kind to yourself.